This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. The Paul Lozier Foundation has awarded a grant to the Moses Lake Police Department to expand its canine program. Wildfire season is upon the Wenatchee Valley, which means taking steps to safeguard your home is necessary in such a rural and urban area. Ephrata High School will be the location of the annual Columbia Basin Relay for Life. The Freda Splash Zone is once again joining aquatic facilities around the world for the annual world's largest swimming lesson. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. The Paul Lozier Foundation has awarded a grant to the Moses Lake Police Department to expand its canine program. Moses Lake Police Chief Kevin Fuhr made the announcement of the $20,500 grant during Tuesday's City Council meeting. Along with the grant, the police department is also getting a large donation from this weekend's Kiwanis and Rotary Club Golf Scramble held at the Moses Lake Golf Club. Fear said the department will need to add another officer position to backfill for the officer chosen as the next canine handler. He's hopeful funds will be available for the extra position in the city's 2019 budget, and the department can get a second canine early next year. The city's first canine chief has been on patrol for about a month, and Fuhrer said the dog has been used every week, including two bites on fleeing suspects. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by... Change doesn't have to be complicated. With a low-profile microwave hood combination that's ready to install right out of the box. It fits in the same space as your under-cabinet hood, so you can get your microwave off the countertop and make space for the routines worth keeping. The low profile microwave hood combination from the number one selling appliance brand in the USA. Whirlpool Appliances, now available at more furniture in Ephrata. Wildfire season is upon the Wenatchee Valley, which means taking steps to safeguard your home is necessary in such a rural and urban area. With a history that includes fires such as the Sleepy Hollow Fire of 2015, which burned down nearly 30 homes, it's important to take precautions when making a spring cleaning list. Whether a home is in the urban downtown area of Wenatchee or the rural outskirts, homes are both vulnerable to embers which can loft up to a mile ahead of the wildfire, land in gutters, decks, and roofs, and ignite spot fires. Chelan County Fire District Community Wildfire Liaison John Riley says that there are things that can be done over the weekend or over a span of years. So this weekend I would encourage everyone watching to go out and inspect your gutters, make sure they're clean, so that ember ignition that we talked about doesn't land and start a small fire in your gutter. Um, you can also blow away pine needles from around the base of your house within the five foot base of your siding because a small fire from an ember ignition landing in pine needles or any sort of leafy duff at the base of your siding could cause an ignition of the siding. Over the summer, Riley says to think about removing that Arbor Vita hedge and replacing it with something less prone to fire, along with shake roofing, which is highly combustible. So over the years, if a roof is due for replacing, Riley wants you to think about putting in a Class A roof covering. I'm Madison Meyer with iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by your taste buds bored? Well then bring them to Jay's Teriyaki. Not only does Jay's have a variety of teriyaki dishes, they also offer mouth-watering salads and sides. Call Jay's 509-764-5155. Jay's Teriyaki, located at 123 East Broadway in Moses Lake. Because it's all in the sauce. Ephrata High School will be the location of the annual Columbia Basin Relay for Life. The Columbia Basin is just one of the thousands of Relay for Life events that take place all over the world. Hope is the message of the event. The purpose of the Relay for Life is to raise money to help cancer patients. Already the Columbia Basin has responded and raised more than the $50,000 goal, according to the Relay for Life website. Opening ceremonies will start at 6 p.m., followed by the survivor and caretaker walk. A luminaria ceremony will happen after the walk, and the event will be concluded with closing ceremonies. I'm Adam Chikoski for iFiber One Sports. The Freda Splash Zone is once again joining aquatic facilities around the world for the annual World's Largest Swimming Lesson. The free event is open to the public starting at 10 a.m. on Thursday, June 21st for the Water Safety Lesson. Participants are encouraged to arrive early to sign in for the event, which will also include a visit from Otto the Otter, and Grant PUD will also have a table set up with water safety information. 
The world's largest swimming lesson will take place over the course of 24 hours at an estimated 600 locations in more than 20 countries. The event was started in 2010 to promote water safety and build awareness about the importance of teaching children how to swim and help prevent drowning. In the U.S., drowning remains the leading cause of unintended injury-related death for children ages 1 to 4, and the second leading cause of accidental death for children under 14. Research shows participating in formal swim lessons can reduce the risk of drowning by 88% among children ages 1 to 4. For more information or questions, contact Parks and Recreation Director Tracy Bennett at 509-754-4601. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.